How's it guys and girls? I'm back on the farm again today and as you guys can see I have a brand spanking new air rifle right here next to me, the BRK Ghost. Now Brokok has decided to change the name to BRK and with that they have launched a new air rifle, the Ghost. So uh, a lot of you may say this air rifle looks a lot like the Daystate Delta Wolf and you're 100% correct because this air rifle is actually built on the exact same footprint or platform as the Daystate uh, Delta Wolf and Alpha Wolf but the Ghost is fully mechanical with no electronic bits and pieces to it. So before we carry on, let me give you a little bit of information regarding this air rifle so you can know what it's all about. So you get the Ghost in three configurations. The Carbine, the Plus and the HP version as you guys can see right here next to me. It also comes in 177, 22, 25 and 30 caliber and this whole air rifle is caliber interchangeable. So if you decide you want a smaller caliber, 177, you can buy a barrel kit for it and then just swap out the barrel with the pallet probe and you're ready to go. So uh, that is actually really, really nice. Then having a look here at the front here, we have a built-in adjustable humor regulator so you can tinker around with it and set it where you want to. And then we have the trigger right here. It's a fully mechanical trigger and probably one of the most um, nicest mechanical triggers I've ever felt and I'm honestly saying this without any funny things added to this. Um, I know it's really difficult to make a good quality trigger for a bullpup styled air rifle because we're working with rods and things but this trigger is honestly so nice you have to shoot this air rifle to really appreciate how good this trigger is and it's probably some of, or one of the things that I'm going to mention the most in this video because it's really that nice. Then on top we have a simple and nice safety system. It's a push button system with a red indication on it. Red is hot. When you don't see red anymore, uh, the trigger is locked and you cannot shoot. Nice and easy. Then um, moving towards the back. Now with this air rifle being mechanical and caliber interchangeable, there must be a way that we can tune this air rifle because if this air rifle was a 25 caliber or a 30 caliber, and I want to move down to 177, I cannot use the same power settings in 177 as for a bigger caliber. So again, we have to tinker with this air rifle in, in a way. So what they've done is they have added a power wheel here at the back and this works hand in hand with the, the regulator in front. So we have 20 power settings that we can choose from here at the back. We have a minimum, a maximum and 18 power settings in between. So you can really tinker around with this until you get the velocity that you desire. So that is really uh, something that's really, really nice that they have built into this air rifle and something that I really like. It's, it was really easy to set up this air rifle and tune it. Um, I'm kinda, uh, currently shooting the JSB 25 grain redesigned pallets out of this air rifle at around 934-ish feet per second around there. So um, for you guys that have an air rifle like this, um, my regulator is set to almost 150 bar and I'm set on power setting number 12 currently. And I'm really getting good consistency out of it and the accuracy, like I said, is really, really nice. Now I know a lot of you are also going to ask what's the twist rate on this air rifle. I've measured it, it must be around uh, 1 in 16 twists. So I know slugs is going to come up in your minds. Now, I didn't have really good success with any slugs so far. The only ones that did shoot very well was the 216 um, Howler slugs or actually the Nielsen slugs. Um, so it's something that you can try out. Now, I am going to test out slugs in the future as well. So if you want to see that, please uh, go check out my social media pages on Instagram and, and uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, all the details will be in the video description but it's, it's something that I'm really going to put effort into and see if this air rifle can shoot slugs. But that will be obviously for, for the future. Then having a look on top here, we have a adjustable uh, scope rail that has a little bit of cant into it, which means you don't really need adjustable scope rings anymore. 
because it already has a little bit of cant into it as well. So again, just something nice that's added to this air rifle that we don't need something extra. The scope that I've decided to mount on this air rifle for today is the Vector Optics Continental 5x30x56 by by first focal plane. This is their flagship um, scope and I've decided to put a proper scope on this air rifle because this air rifle is really, really accurate. The scope mounts that I have here is the Eagle Vision Cam 34mm uh, scope rings and these ones are adjustable. I just really like them as you guys may know or some of you may know. Then right at the muzzle end we have the Eagle Vision Cam Sigma M4. This is the latest or basically the first uh, silencer from Eagle Vision Cam and I must tell you I'm really surprised how quiet that silencer or moderator basically is. So um, and something that you guys are going to see a lot for, uh, of in the future as well. So um, yeah basically this is the whole air rifle in a nutshell. So uh, without wasting any more time Let's take it out in this rainy weather and see what I can do with it today. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Cracking shot. I think it was 76 uh, meters. Not too bad. First kill of the day. I'm hiding inside of this little um, storeroom because of the rain um, the rain actually died down a little bit so um, yeah let's see how it carries on but the first kill for today uh, 76 ish meters meters and i think it was a headshot it was a perfect kill so very very happy Smoke team. That's how quiet this um, uh, Sigma M4 is. Those other ground squirrels didn't even run away. Got the second one. Nice shot at 40 meters, rock pigeon down. So there we go guys and girls, I'm gonna call it a wrap. There's a massive storm coming in and I don't wanna be out here with my equipment. So uh, as you can hear, the thunder is already rumbling. It was a blast out here with the BRK Ghost. It really performed very well. And just my uh, final thoughts on this little air rifle, I must say, it's super comfortable to shoot. The ergonomics of this air rifle is really, really spot on. These edges that they've cut in the frame of the, the air rifle really made it super comfortable. It's not really digging into your hands like with the Daystate Deltool, for instance, with those sharp edges. So walking around with this, honestly, it's, it's still heavy, but it's really, really comfortable. Then uh, lastly, um, I said I'm gonna mention, and I am, the trigger, the trigger is really, really nice. Um, like I said before, you really have to shoot this air rifle to appreciate what this trigger can do. 
and what it's all about. Um, it's super predictable and that's a big plus for me because if your trigger is not predictable, you're basically going to pull each short that you take. So all in all, I'm super happy with this air rifle. It was really accurate as well. I just wanted to go out and test some slugs with it and hopefully it can deliver with slugs as well. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. So if you want to see those results, please go check out my social media pages. I'll keep you guys up to date uh, right there on the results of this little air rifle. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.